Hey everybody, welcome back to Crosscut Coyote Folk Bench. This is Alvin with part six, the continuation of how I made my graffiti gig bag. Anyway, I hope everybody had a successful Thanksgiving. I hope you're still, quite frankly, waddling around with a belly full of food. Uh, <laughs> you know, it might be a good thing, might not be a good thing. Either way, uh, we're looking forward to the rest of the project right, moving right along. Um, so, let's get with it. For every part, I usually always have to make the template. So I take my little cardboard and take a ruler and measure off the, the width of the side that I want it to be and uh, use the cardboard. After that, it needs to say I just grab the fabric and select the sections I'm going to use on it, pull it out, you know, uh, cut it, flatten it out, and prep it for gluing. After I glue it, which uh, helps to make it nice and flat, and easy to manipulate. Um, then I start prepping it to be cut to the size that I want based on the template. Once I get the template in position, then the next thing to do is to line it with the plastic. And you know, since my bench top wasn't big enough, I just decided to throw it on the floor and just uh, cut the cut the uh, the layer there. Then bring it back to the bench and glue the layer to the side. My next step is to make the what I call fin tags, and these are designed to hold the dividing wall centered down the bag. This piece that you're looking at here is the lining that covers the base of the fin tags. The fin tags, which of course are going to reach through this lining and attach to the dividing wall. This runs along the entire inner wall of the gig bag except for where the zipper attaches. The fin tag starts off looking like one long tag at first, um, uh, then, but once I glue that one rib onto the, the, the wall of the gig bag, then I cut the tag up into the little sections which basically is responsible for its name. I wanted these tags to have a portable characteristic to them in reference to the divider. So what I did was I made the, each tag so that it had that opening um, that allows a cord to be threaded through. And what I do is I take that cord and thread that cord through, the, through each tag, the top of each tag, and then loop it through the divider that's going to go on the inside. That way I can remove the divider if I so choose. The part that you're looking at now is the lining that fits over the base of each tag. I just press the tags through and press, press the lining against the wall. Then I just secure the lining to the wall with uh, spray adhesive. And now I turn it over to create the lines that I'll be using for a sewing guide when I go to sew uh, the sides onto the strip. And now it's time for the tent maker tailor work. This is the moment where I actually have to sew the parts together.
once I'm done trimming the corners of the bag, um, then I just uh, wrap the corners with some soft material. Uh, take the soft fabric and hot glue it down and wrap it around the corner. And that sort of protects the instruments and, and it looks a little better too. Now it's time to make the zipper wall. Once I've gone through the lengthy process of making the zipper wall, now it's time to sew the entire wall to the bag. Hey everybody, thanks again for hanging around uh, and checking out part six. Uh, moving on into part seven as advancing a little bit closer. So, you know, not too long now. Anyway, uh, thanks for maintaining your art and also being positive and being an encouragement to others. Uh, it's, it's recognized whether you're aware of it or not and it's also greatly appreciated. It's a reality and it's definitely very needed. So um, this is Alvin at Crosscut Coyote Folk Bench. Looking forward to part seven. See you next time.